bugger off. Pissing snipers. Oh, fuck you, 2K Games. Yeah, I'm just gonna blame every single bad decision made during this game on you because you're the masters of bad decision making. Really, I've played enough of your games to know this for a fact. Bollocks off. Stupid sniper. Oh, now a turret gun as well, because that's pissing fair, isn't it? Snipers, hundreds of dudes, and a turret gun. All of which can track me with perfect 100% unerring accuracy from any decision, any position even across the pissing map. Ah, oh, again, gotta be a 2k game decision. Bollocks off the lot of you. Seriously. Nob- oh. So now you can fire grenades from anywhere and just randomly spawn directly on top of me now, can we? Yeah, that's fair. Well done. Pissing arseholes. Fine, you wanna do some sniping? I could do some sniping. Bollocks off. Retard. Right, speaking of, can I take care of this stupid sniper now? Should be above me somewhere, shouldn't he? I th yeah, he should be up there, shouldn't he? In that alcove. Delivery for an a-hole. Right, that did it. No, of course it didn't, because, you know, grenades just give them a light tickling. That's what grenades do, except when they're firing them at me. When they fire them at me, they really, really pissing hurt. When I fire them at them, no, just light tickles for all. For fuck's sake. Ah, uh, see, this isn't actually a bad game. It just really, really infuriates me with some of the stupid decisions that were made during it. Alright, do I... Oh, you're kidding me, right? That's all I had to do? Just crouch under here? Really? Really, game? Fine, whatever. My siblings are such a screaming at each other in the background. And I'll be very pissed off if that makes it through to the recording and I have to delete this and record commentary again. Why is it that people in your house only ever want to start screaming at each other the moment you're trying to do something that requires quiet? You know, if you're sleeping or recording, and suddenly everyone in the house just wants to screech at each other as loud as they can. Right, where do I even go here? Up here, you say, Hawkey? As good a place as any, I suppose. Knob off. Really not in the mood, dude. Hmm, sun symbol, eh? Okay, so presumably there's hidden goodies around here. Where are they? Ah, oh, there they are. Excellent. I suppose I should accept your offering for now, game. Himbuea, 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 himbuea. Right, where do I even go then? Nope, that's not it. Hmm. Been down there. Don't care about that area anymore. Through here it is then. Bollocks off, pooch. You're not wanted here. New. Oh, for God's sake. Stop generating random dudes. I'm getting bored of this. Let's do something interesting again. Let's talk to the rebels and stuff some more. That was actually pretty interesting. I mean, admittedly, you guys didn't really get to see much of it. Which, again, I apologise for, but... Yeah, that was cool. Why can't I do some more of that? Knob off. Right. Anything down here? Oh, for pity's sake. Look, he's not fighting. He's actually looking at the scenery. Quick, spawn a random dude to shoot at him from nowhere. Bloody arseholes. Right. Of course you're on the ceiling. Of course you're on the ceiling. Where else would you be? Oop, ammo, ammo, ammo. Mustn't forget the goodies in my rage. Must never do that. It's an amateur mistake. Right. Now this is a bit weird. What's the deal with all of this then? Rather strange. I assume that takes me all the way back up and down there, does it? 
I wonder if that technically counts as backtracking since I'm going back through the same area but on the ceiling. Oh well, whatever. Oh, of course, more dudes spawn at random. Of course they do. I'm waiting for my health to regenerate because I'm not going back to the land of demon fish again. I've had quite enough of that, thank you. Awesome. Again, people shouting and banging doors. These arseholes don't know how to be. No, let's not get into that. Ha 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 ha. Try and keep things positive for the boys and girls. It's hard to do when you've been bitching at the game for the past 10 minutes, but still. Try and keep things generally positive. I do want to know why, when the ammo gets low on these weapons, they make that sound that, you know, alarm watches back in the 80s used to make. Bit of a weird decision, if you ask me, but whatever. Hmm. Large spinny contraption, eh? That manipulates gravity, you say? Yes, I saw one of those in, uh... <clears> hmm. <throat> Turn my throat's dry. Saw one of those in Dead Space as well, didn't we? I'm just saying, chap, there seems to be a lot of stuff you've ripped off from this game. I suppose you'd say, uh... Paid homage to, wouldn't you? More likely. Whatever. Presumably then I need to go down here. That will drop me into the big square chamber, will it? Yeah, cool. Right, so what do I actually do now that I'm in here? Mm -hmm. Well, I'll figure it out soon enough. Okay. Large... Okay, now what? That's what I'm trying to figure out, Tommy. Give me a second. Such a dick. Anyway. Alright, so... Yeah. Grid-like pattern... These things are apparently gravity plates, or as good as. Hmm. That's got a weird glowy thing on it, but doesn't really seem to do anything. Um. Nope, spirit mode doesn't reveal anything interesting. Not much of anything, really. So. Question unenviably becomes, what the crap am I meant to do? Seriously, even the slightest of hints will be nice, guys. Really. So here's what we'll do. We'll stick him in a room. A room, yeah. A square room. Square room, yeah. Square room's good. Square. Full of, uh... Full of panels and some, you know... Tron-style lighting grids on the floor. On the floor, yeah. On the floor. Flo on the floor's good. Floor's good. And then, uh... uh we'll put a big glowy thing in one side of the room that apparently does nothing. Does nothing, yeah. Nothing's good. Nothing's good. And then, uh... Yeah, that'll be that, yeah. Bloody wankers. Anyway. Okay, seriously, what the crap do you expect me to do? There's no switches, no... There's really, there's nothing in here. Okay, that made that one wall glow. That's... That's weird. There's no indication of why the wall started glowing. Okay, more of the wall is now glowing. Am I just supposed to... Hmm... Nope, can't make the cube do anything, apparently. So what's the idea here? Do I just keep pissing around until... Until more of the walls start glowing? Do I have to push these in the right order? That made the cube move. Didn't it? Wait, is that the idea? I have to fuck around with the gravity and... Cause this cube to slide along the pathway along the edge of the wall here. Let's see, do that. Did that move it again? It did, yeah. <coughs> Sorry about that. Like I say, my throat is ridiculously dry right now. Hmm. Okay then. So, if changing the gravity moves it along these tracks. That, if I turn around do that. That should bring it down this pathway in front of me. Yeah, okay, so now it needs to go over this way. Hm. Ah, we've got an idea. Actually know what we're doing now. Not so dim after all. Though I've got to say, it's not really a puzzle per se if you give your players absolutely no idea as to what you want them to do. 
can give them a basic starting hint and then leave them to figure it out all out themselves. You don't stick them in a room, don't tell them there's a puzzle involved, and then just walk away. That is poor design. 